We're seeing that escalation, but we're not sure if that's the peak or if we're going to continue on. Zach Rainey is an epidemiologist with the Northern Kentucky Health Department, and he says there's been a spike in flu cases since the holidays. <coughs> Local doctors are seeing the increase too. It's really started to pick up since the holidays. We're seeing and diagnosing several cases like in the teens um, every day at our offices here in Northern Kentucky. Children are especially susceptible to the flu. Boone County Schools has seen a dramatic drop in attendance over the past week with hundreds of sick kids. It is really important um, if you're not feeling well, if your child isn't feeling well, to stay home or to keep them home. As families rush to the doctor, Tamiflu prescriptions are on the rise. Uh, we are seeing one or two cases a day of people coming in for Tamiflu. But Tamiflu distribution isn't keeping up with demands. Some pharmacies are having a hard time keeping the liquid form, what's prescribed for kids, in stock. I have just over the past few days run into some pharmacies that have run out. So that's usually the signal that supplies are beginning to dwindle a bit. The only thing we cannot get in right now is the generic form of the liquid Tamiflu, but we're pretty well stocked on the capsule form. Getting your hands on this precious prescription early can make symptoms less severe. It's also helpful if you're seen fairly early in the process if you think you have the flu, because if you're within the first 24 to 48 hours, there can be some benefit. Now, officials are comparing this flu season to 2014. That year, it peaked in December, but there were more, more cases reported. That it's not over yet, so officials are still recommending that you get that vaccination and, of course, asking that you continue to wash your hands. Reporting live, Molly Laird, WLWT News 5.